If you saw James Cameron's avatar, you know that it helped bring 3D back into popularity. But you were still wearing these special glasses after all these years. Part of the next 3D revolution is taking place in Israel, where Israeli startup 3D TV, located in Renana, north of Tel Aviv, is developing a new TV technology that's finally getting rid of those glasses. The idea is having screen without glasses because you cannot give glasses to everyone that walks by. Cameron had to shoot every scene with two cameras, one from the perspective of each eye. 3D TV takes a commercial LCD TV and adds a layer of optics on top, which redirects the pixels in nine different directions. It is like we are putting nine cameras and shooting from each one of them, and from each of the cameras we are transmitting to different eyes. So whenever you stand, there is an image pointed to one of your eyes, right or left. Then your brain creates the 3D image. Avatar and everything else we see in 3D, on TVs or in the movies, has to be created that way. And so this Israeli company also creates its own high quality content. In 3D, if you don't see a good image, you are losing the image and you start get dizzy. Special animators take a month or more to create a single short commercial using a series of computers or a render farm to handle the huge amounts of data needed. For each object, they have to program three areas of movement. We have the out-of-screen objects that you see them flying in the air. We have objects that are on the screen, like 2D image, and we have objects that, that are in depth. When we create what we call the storyboard, we said, all right, this rocket will fly from within the screen to out of screen. 3D TV founder Ohayon is happy to tell me that their software can easily convert any previously made video into 3D content. We can take, for example, a movie that was made for glasses, like Avatar. And we can take these two sources and convert them to our technology. We can take a 2D movie and then convert it to our technology. At this point, 3D TV is displaying their content in exhibitions, as well as in business centers and airports. This media is very good for exhibition because when you go and everyone shows screen and everyone shows movie and you want to pop out, out of everyone, you show 3D and then you see people standing around your screen. We call it the wow effect. There are several commercials on display at the Moscow airport. And 3D TV was invited by the Israeli government to set up a monitor in the Israel Pavilion at Expo 2010 in Shanghai. TV networks still can't broadcast most 3D programs because they're too large. The files are too big to be played on DVDs and have to be put on large hard drives. A DVD that have 4.7 gigabyte will be able to show only 10 seconds in this technology. With all the challenges, Ohayon envisions a time soon when 3D TVs will be everywhere for use not only in entertainment but also in industry. The application of 3D is very vast. You can have it almost in anywhere, in medicine and in architecture. We see the world in 3D. And if we reach finally to some technology that, that allow us to see artificial 3D in our screen, so everything that you see, you would like to see in 3D. Everything changed. This is Harvey Stein reporting from Ranana, Israel. Stop him.